What's up guys, Juice Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got a really cool team around two of the new cards that came out last night during the new releases of Team of the Seasons. Uh, the two Russians and they're really good in game, guys. So before we get any further, as always, if you smash 1,000 followers likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for more. And in the description below will be my previous video, which will be transfers. And apologies again for the really shitty green screen. I was having some real bad trouble with the lighting. Um, it's probably making me look even more pale now than I already am. Uh, but basically, because I'm wearing a black shirt, kind of contrast and all that jibber jabber so uh, i'm repping a cm punk shirt today let's get into the team and let's start from the back then as always the goalkeeper in this 4-3-2-1 formation today the goalkeeper is going to be an fc utrecht goalkeeper by the name of robin rutier um i think that's how i say his name he's six of five so he's a giant in there has the traditional save technique and has got some really solid stats for a silver goalkeeper the key ones obviously being a 76 handling reflexes and also positioning and uh, i mean every single stat apart from a speed above 70 that is decent in my eyes for just a 74 rated car now move on then to the right back and that is going to be Nelson Semedo, my, probably my go-to right back in terms of silvers, especially from the Portuguese league. 51 games played, 8 assists and uh, he's got 87 pace, that's the main thing about him to be honest. I was hoping, um, I've never actually watched him in real life, but I was hoping for him to get a tot, unfortunately, I think his brother did though, he may be his brother, uh, but there was a tot from that league called Semedo at centre back, I think from the same club also. So now we've gone to right centre back, another silver tot this time and that is going to be Timo Lecha, one of my favourite silvers on this game. I mean, for stats, them stats on the silver are crazy. I think right now he's 7,000 coins. I say this every time I use him, and the fact that he has very good passing and dribbling, as well as good defending physical and pace on his silver card makes it even better because he's only 5 foot 11, but in game, that doesn't really make a difference for him. His jumping's pretty good, it seems, and uh, he's just very good at passing the ball out from the back line. The partner next to him is a player I've never used, and that is going to be Virgil van Dijk. And he's 84 rated, 72 pace, 85 defending, and 87 physical. And where Letchart lacks the height, he really does not be in 6 foot 4 and 33,000 coins. Definitely a, a player that I did, would recommend, uh, very solid for any BPL team, and pretty damn good for hybrids, given the fact there's not many Dutch centre backs in that league uh, in the BPL. Is there? He might be the only one actually on top of my head. And left back, we go with Alberto Moreno. I kind of despise him at the moment in real life, since the fact that that performance in the Europa League final was hideous. I really like his personality and stuff, which comes out on the on the pitch and also in videos, but really, he's not a left back. He's very good at going forward sometimes, but defending, he just loses his head, especially against Sevilla. He lost his brain completely and was at fault, in my opinion at least, for two goals. And uh, that's why we definitely need a new left back uh, for next season. He's quick. I mean, that's the reason he's in this team. He's a good left back on FIFA, but in real life, he just lacks the defensive ability. I just hope over the summer he does a bit of work in his defending, because seriously, it's the thing that lets him down. He's a good player other than that. Uh, it just needs to work it a little bit more. Now we're going to midfield then. Another Liverpool player because I wanted to link to him. And that is going to be Philippe Coutinho. You may be thinking, Ross, he's more of a camera forward player. But as a centre mid, he did work pretty damn well. I think the big reason this did work in midfield was the fact that I had three different varieties. I had a little skillful, tricky player on the left. An absolute monster on the right. And a player does all the well-rounded stuff in the middle. So Coutinho, he has got uh, 16 assists and 6 goals in 27 matches for me. Uh, a lot of them at centre mid or centre track midfield and he's got decent uh, stats 87 dribbling 81 passing and 82 pace now we've got to the middle centre mid that is going to be Mauricio by Shaw because he has one hell of a long name and this is a Zenit St. Petersburg transferred version some very really good stats for a silver card including 74 pace 72 shot 73 passing 73 defending and 74 physical cost me just 3,000 coins and I bought him on the day he came out if I am correct so and again he gets a high playing to Hulk right now so his price may be a little bit inflated and that final midfield slot then is going to go to this guy the 8 six rated Danilo Pereira team this season from FC Porto. The Portuguese player has got 92 physical and he's six foot two. On top of that, he has 74 pace, 76 shooting, 80 on passing, 83 dribbling and 88 defending. So them stats, I, I, I can see why he's 77k, but if you do not have the coins, just get his normal version. And just before I put the new team this season, let's go on to the right forward. That is going to be the five star skiller Kelvin, kind of like a FIFA 13 legend to be honest. His first introduced back then and um, it's now still very good. I don't think he's really improved in real life since then i believe he went out on loan to a brazilian club last season so his 5 for 8 5 star skill moves i've used him a fair amount 35 games 15 assists and six goals so he does a job at right forward but now let's go into two main men the two new tots cards let's go to the striker first and that's going to be zuba one i think it's my top 10 most looking forward to using on tots cards and also the left forward going to be this guy shatov both from zenit 
a ridiculously good hyperlink. But let's start off with Shadow then. I'll get into more detail when we get into the actual squad builder part, so all the clips part, sorry. So Shatov, he cost me 70,000 coins, six games, four goals, two assists. Definitely a nice return for a left forward. 92 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shot, 86 passing and 75 physical. This guy, seriously, he's so, so rapid in game. If you come against him in game, I feel sorry for you because he's so quick and uh, just good luck catching up to him. The striker though is going to be the absolute monster, the Russian Ibrahimovic. That is going to be Zuba. He's six at four, high medium work rates, 81 pace, 91 physical and 90 shooting. He played six games, getting 10 goals and one assist and he cost me 50,000 coins. But right now I think he's like, I think it's like 39K, which is crazy, crazy stuff. And hopefully with like a potential 100K packs and stuff, he'll, he may be like 25k by the end of this uh probably about wednesday and i want to ask a real quick question in games guys uh, if you get random disconnects like i do with this team i think i had three games in particular where there's either a slide tackle or something like that mainly a slide tackle and the game just disconnects and it counts as nothing let me know in the comments below if that has happened to you as i can't see if it's just a genuine problem or in my end guys uh, so there's the team 4-3-2-1 fantastic team of season items up top with the uh, striker and the left forward let's get into the goals i scored i scored some bangers so now getting to the goals and the very first goal I scored was in fact two minutes into my very first game with it My very first shot on goal with Zuba and it's a great finish with his weak foot But let's start off then with Zuba the main man and he's unreal in the air. He's such a great target man you probably could guess that being a uh, six of four, but I think it's 99 head and accuracy, but his knock-ons are so good. I'll show you one or two examples during the clips because I don't want to just show you me boosting the ball up and him knocking it down. But seriously, he's very good in the air and that's one of his key points. Next up, he's brilliant on the ball. For a six of four man, um, you remember when I was talking about Al Sommer, uh, and the, I think it's about, like, yeah, this time last week, basically, and um, his touch wasn't fantastic, Al Sommer, but this guy, look, look at that for a little flick up and then he turns and just absolutely bangs it into the corner. So that's what Zuba can offer you on the ball. His shooting is near perfection. I mean, he didn't really miss many chances whatsoever with it. Um, and that clip I showed you before, what, what what skill move is that by Kelvin? I want to know, I don't know how to do it, but I accidentally done it in game. But yeah, his shooting is fantastic. And uh, again, just he's just very good. His near post shots are brilliant and will always trouble the goalkeeper. He's uh, basically Ibra, uh, like I said, the, the Russian Ibrahimovic with four-star skill moves. And that's one thing I really do rate about him. If he had four-star, he'd pr probably be pretty damn broken in the game. But now we've got on to Tina Season Shatov, his partner in crime, and um, his high plank as in St. Petersburg. He's so damn fast. You seriously, good luck catching him. He's just so rapid. I think he has like, wait, I'm, I'm quitting on my console. He has a uh, nice two pace. And it seems so much more in that in game. Like he can literally pull away from anyone. I think at some points uh, he, was, he had a race against the thing as uh, Jordi Alba and he completely demolished him. I think they're around the same pace if Jordi Alba doesn't have any more than him. Um, the next bit is dribbling, is, is, is uh, close dribbling. This right here in the background is like like the kind of key example for this. That right there is not a tackle. That is his touch away from automatically and a fantastic finish. That's, that's probably my favorite goal I've got the team. Like that right there. It is so, so good to watch from him. Shatov, he's an absolute baller. And then we go on to his passing and shooting. It's brilliant for a winger. I don't expect the best shooting ever on a winger, unless you've got like your elite players like Cristiano Ronaldo and players like that. But seriously, his shooting's very good and tidy, as is his passing, which you kind of expect on a very pasty winger. And here, like, look at this from Zuba. That's, that's the stuff he can produce. The rest of the team, though, the keeper, massive surprise. He saves so much for me. Being a silver goalkeeper, I'm usually quite speculative because I'm like, you know what? I, I usually I like having a certain amount of silvers in my team, hence why uh, it's like an OCD of mine, to be honest. <laughs> but I like having at least one silver in the attack, the midfield, and the defense. And if I can't get a defender in, I essentially put in a goalkeeper. But I was trying to work out how I could hybrid it, and the only way I could get in uh, like what, what players I wanted was by putting Letchart and the goalkeeper. He's really good in goal. The attack had a lot of dimensions, uh, given the skillful wingers and the target man, and that was absolutely awesome. And the final bit, the midfield is key. Having the big man, the, uh, the all-rounder, and the skillful, uh, like, tricky player, guys. So that is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. One dozen fire likes would be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button for more. Hey, guys, thank you for this video, and I'll see you next time.